Next up, oh my goodness, Sabine Becker was born in Europe and immigrated to the United States with her five-year-old son and only $100 in her pocket. Born without arms, she had to persevere and adapt to live an independent life by using her feet for all of her daily tasks. She's writing a book titled P-U-S-H, Persevere Until Success Happens. She's going to share six skills that will allow anyone to P-U-S-H through radical challenges and find a way to thrive, have a meaningful and purposeful life. She's going to talk tonight about the lessons I have learned from my stroke of luck. Please welcome Sabine Becker. Madame Toastmaster, the last thing I remember before passing out behind the steering wheel of my car was a sparkling silver hood of my Honda racing at 85 miles per hour towards the Rio Grande River and certain deaths. Then everything went black. I suffered a massive stroke while I was driving my car. Several days later, I woke up in the neurointensive care unit, hovering between life and death. I was 50 years old and as helpless as an infant. My new reality was incomprehensible. If I survive the massive brain damage, I might never walk or talk again. Even in my drug-induced days, I thought to myself, I was born to push. Because as long as I remember, I use the acronym P-U-S-H, persevere until success happens, to navigate through life without arms. This had prepared me for the ultimate fight, the fight for survival. The next 12 months I spent in a rehabilitation center filled with physical, occupational and speech therapy. And slowly, my brain built new pathways so I could learn how to walk and how to talk again. I pushed. And when I was tired of pushing, I pushed some more because I was determined not to be a stroke victim, but to emerge from this monument monumental setback as a thriving stroke survivor. Toastmasters, this was a segment from chapter one of my book I'm currently writing, and the title is P-U-S-H, Persevere Until Success Happens, the six skills that will help you survive adversity and turn your life into a comeback story. My stro stroke was so massive and so rude, such a wake up call. I was fortunate enough to receive the gift of a second chance, not only at life, but also to share my push message along with six push skills that I have learned the hard way by pushing through one year of fighting for survival and independence. Here's a very brief overview of the six push skills. Number one, resilience. Resilience is a combination of, uh, of inner strength, optimism, acceptance, and strong social ties. Highly resilient people will find a way to turn inconceivable tragedy into a dazzling comeback story. Two, courage. I think of courage as a flame 
inside of our souls. Courage is when we push forward the best way we can, despite adversity and fear. Each step that we try, take towards recovery from our challenge, even if it's the tiniest step, it's a step taken with courage. Number three, perseverance. Perseverance is such a deep-seated drive that keeps us pushing even when we're tired and when we want to quit. Perseverance will determine the outcome we will get on our way to pursue our dreams and our goals. Four, reframing. We need to accept reality as it is. However, we can change our view to a more hopeful frame. The facts still remain the same, but by reframing, we redefine what is possible. Five, positive mindset. By playing the same thoughts over and over in your mind, positive or negative thoughts, these thoughts become believable and they become the experience of our lives. And number six, hope. Hope is a choice. By setting a goal and by envisioning possible ways to reach that goal, we practice hope. If we do that often enough, hopefulness will become a habit. With hope, anything is possible. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, when you experience a wake-up call, I hope my book, P-U-S-H, Persevere Until Success Happens, will encourage you to choose and work towards a positive and compelling future. Use this acronym PUSH and commit to practice the six PUSH skills and eventually mm -hmm. your painful wake up call will turn into a comeback story of a lifetime, which in turn will lead to a thriving and purposeful life. Madame Toastmaster, back to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sabine. What an amazing story. I love persevere until success happens and let's all work on that. 